Hey everybody, DeLong Shad Signatures here. This is episode 4 of my 2023 TTM Returns, and we are starting off this week with 7 returns for 19 autographs. So some really cool stuff here. We're going to start off with a football success from a guy I've gotten a couple times before on some uh, older Upper Deck College football cards. This guy has been a great TTM signer, former first overall pick. I believe he won a Heisman, probably in the College Football Hall of Fame. Uh, would not doubt it. I'm pretty sure he is. But this is a 3-of-3 three three success from former Oklahoma running back, coming back in 77 days, Billy Sims. So like I said with uh, some previous returns for these cards, these are some great-looking uh, cards that Upper Deck made. Um, and a few years ago, they would have been great sets to get signed TTM. And uh, unfortunately, so many of the people have either passed away, stopped signing, or charge a bunch of money now. Uh, cause most of them went on to be Hall of Famers of some sort, and uh, a lot of older guys in those sets. Because I think they stopped making these in 2015, I think was the last year that they did it. Um, so it stinks. Could have been a really fun set to try and work on, at least for the first, I think it was the first 50 cards. They did former players, and then they would do the rookies for the rest of the set. But uh, still really glad to get those. Uh, came back looking fantastic. Then we have a baseball return. This is a 2 of 2 success in 48 days. Coming back on some 92 cards. This is uh, Donald Harris. Uh, he played parts of three seasons with the Texas Rangers. I believe he was a fifth overall pick at one point. Um, so got his rookie card signed. Uh, didn't take long, like I said, 48 days. So signed nicely in blue on the Don Russ in the Fleer Ultra. Then we've got a lacrosse return, not a college lacrosse ret return, although ironically they are photos of him in college. Uh, but this is from an active pro player. So he signed both of my photos, included some decals, and he signed the back of one of the decals. So three of two plus some goodies in 24 days. From San Diego Seals player Wesley Berg. He's number 14 there. He played for Denver collegiately. He was selected fourth overall in the NLL draft, I think in 2015. And included a bunch of these uh, San Diego Seals decals. And on the back of one of them, like I said, he signed that. said, appreciate the kind words. Happy New Year. He does play in um, both of the major uh, professional lacrosse leagues. I think one of them is the Premier Lacrosse League. The other one's the National Lacrosse League. Uh, the PLL is an outdoor, and the NLL one is an indoor league. So very, very different playing styles, um, but a lot of the players jump back and forth. Their seasons are at different times. Um, so my main focus right now, because the NLL is going to focus on that league i might focus on the pll when that happens i think that's in the summer into the fall um but really really cool to get him he's been a pretty good player so far i think he's over 400 points in his career now then we have a college basketball coach return uh she signed three of two signed both my photos and included a signed note uh, took two times to get her, but thankfully got her this time around. Uh, so three of two in 45 days from Yvonne Kaufman. She also coached field hockey. So uh, in total in her coaching um, tenure, she had over a 1,000 wins. But she coached for 42 years for the Elizabethtown uh, women's basketball team. And she won two Division three championships. So she said, uh, sorry this took so long. It really didn't. Uh, wishing you the very best during the 2023 year. Thanks for following women's basketball. I am now retired and loving life. All the best, uh, Yvonne Coffin. I think she signed them Yanni, uh, which I couldn't find anywhere. Um, maybe that's just what she goes by now. Maybe that's a nickname or something. And I've seen two different spellings of her last name. Some of them have one N in Kaufman, and some of them have two. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the one in is the correct spelling, but there's a lot of websites that have two. I'm, I'm not sure why. Then we've got a softball, uh, college softball coach return. This is a 
two of two success in 28 days, coming back from Missouri coach uh, Larissa Anderson. She is going into her eighth or ninth season, um, fourth or fifth as the Missouri head coach, but she's done pretty well there so far. Uh, let me see if I can get her win-loss record pulled up. Yeah, she's got uh, 264 wins to 144 losses and has one tie. So a 647 win percentage already pretty early in her career. So that's really cool to get her back. And then we got a couple racing returns to end with here. First one is a 2 of 2 return from a... Uh, Formula 2 driver. This is uh, coming back in 196 days from Jahan Daruvula. I think that's how it's pronounced. I, I based it off of what I heard in the F1 game when I used to play it. Um, but he was with Prima Racing this past year, I believe. He won a race, didn't win a championship. Um, I think he might be going into Formula E as a backup driver. That's what I read. Uh, he was part of the former uh, India-based race team, I think Sauber. I know so little about Formula Racing, <laughs> um, but uh, he was he was part of a contest to be one of the three uh, kind of developmental drivers for that team, uh, or was it Team Force India? I think they got taken over by Sauber. Anyway, um, part of the one in a billion contest. Uh, so he was one of their drivers. Um, obviously, he's part of the Red Bull Junior team. I don't think it, they're going to be having him fill the uh, Formula One Red Bull seat anytime soon. That looks to be pretty well locked up by Max Verstappen. And uh, I think Perez is staying there too. But still, cool to get him. Um, I don't think I have any of the uh, drivers from Formula Two this year that are going to go on to F1. But that doesn't mean that they can't go on later. We'll just have to wait and see. Last one here is uh, NHRA return, and this one's really cool. It is a four of one success, uh, coming back in 122 days from pro stock driver Alan Prusensky. So I sent, I'm pretty sure it was this hero card, went around the track, grabbed them, and uh, started looking up some of the people that I wasn't able to get uh, an autograph from, and... Uh, so he signed that, and he included three older ones as well. So very, very cool of him to do that. This last one I think he signed on the back. I'm pretty sure this is the front of it, but it is what it is. I've gotten them signed on the front and back before. But uh, hasn't won a race. I don't really know too much about him. Uh, he's obviously raced for several years now. Um He's probably been in some of the lower series as well. That's probably why I don't don't really know him all that well. But I do remember seeing uh, his car and then obviously grabbed his hero card and everything. Looked him up and found an address. And after almost uh, about four months, which is when I was at the track, um, they came back signed. So really cool. I'll have to follow his career going forward with that. But a great way to start off the week with uh, seven returns, some really cool stuff, a really nice mix of things. Let me know what you guys liked. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.